Hello and welcome to Back to Basics Homestead. My name is Annie and today I am starting the process of hardening off the plants that I will be selling. Some of them are struggling inside so I decided to give them the real thing and I give them sun but not direct sunlight. So I have a roof over me and it's a supposed to be a rainy day so I decided to give them a couple of hours outside so that they can start thriving and I'm also working on a planting project. I started planting some of my greens. Cilantro. This I planted before the snowstorm that we had that was really cold so this might come back but I'm not certain and this is another this is a mix of spinach, uh, lettuce, a Swiss chard, and I think there is Russian purple kale. I'm not sure in this one. I think all my seedling dies, but like you can see here, there's a yellow Swiss chard and either peppermint chard or a red one. And then more spinach here. I am also getting these ready to go in the main garden. These are beets. Hello. <laughs> these are beets I sold. Uh, I sewed in soil blockers, two inch, and uh, they are way overdue to be transplanted. But with the cold snap that we got and the snow, I preferred keeping them inside the house during the night and bring them back out so that their leaves and all the plants can be ready to be transplanted. Some of them probably won't survive, but hey, you know, sometimes in experiments, you have good things and you have bad things. The soil blocking experiment went really well. If I would have been trans, if I would have transplanted them probably last week, I, I would probably have less loss, but you know, I'm just gonna plant them anyways. I'm also working on these. These are baby, baby lettuce that I will be doing. Um, baby greens because I am anxious to get food from the garden and I will be transplanting them as well. So I am getting my hands dirty today and I have to admit it feels great like all those cold months stuck inside and now I get to play with dirt and within about a month these will be baby greens. Same thing with the spinach that's on my railing and these will slowly be introduced to uh, to light. So today, since it's an overcast day, I'm going to leave them uh, about three hours outside and then do that for two days and then two days after, half an hour more, so on and so forth. It is spring. I can feel it. Like soon I'll have cilantro, baby greens lettuce, baby green uh, Swiss chard, baby like and container gardening is super easy. I didn't, I, I had the grow bags. These, I got them a lot off of Amazon's and this, you can either find them used or at your nursery or hardware store. They're not that expensive. And the soil mixture, I did my own soil mixture. It's not that complicated. And if you don't have access to that, you can just buy uh, at your local nursery or hardware store, like container, container proof soil you can't just like take dirt and put it in there it has to be made for container gardening because they need they need um, they need special requirements if you want I can talk more in depth in that department of how I create my own soil comment below and I will make sure to add it to my future videos but I will be talking more about it since I am doing sweet potato slips and I will be using probably the same mixture or I will buy like the bulk 107 liter uh, container friendly uh, soil for my sweet potatoes so stay tuned for that so thanks for popping in the homestead today if you like the content that I'm sharing please do share subscribe hit the little bell for the notification that I've published a new video and just thank you thank you for just following me I'm seeing all these comments and those hearts and it just it just warms my heart Thanks again. Have a nice day. Bye.